What's up guys, welcome to Gizmo China. Today we've got you the newest Lenovo Xiaoxin Pad Pro 12.6 version. I'm gonna be unboxing it for the first time and I happen to have the previous 11.5 version and we're gonna see what new things comes inside the box. So, what comes in the box? First, let's put the pad to a side. There we have a 30 watt fast charging brake. The charging brake was 20 watts in the previous version, so this is probably going to make the charge much faster. There is the charging cable, some manuals, a SIM card pin, and a Type C to 3.5 millimeters converter. This is all that comes in the box. So going back to the pad itself, now the screen is a little bit bigger and the side is also a little bit thinner. The build quality is as excellent as the previous one. The full metal coverage makes it so premium and comfortable to use. It comes with four JBL speaker set and the fingerprint unlocking and SD card slot is also available as the previous one. Biggest difference is probably at the camera area. Now all the cameras and light lighting are at the same black area which makes it look really tidy and organized. One thing needs to be reminded is if you have the previous keyboard set, you're not gonna be able to use it on this one, but you have the previous pen. You can use it on this one, but you're not going to be able to charge it, sticking it up to the back of the pad. So while we're activating the system, let me just introduce the main specs. The chip is Snapdragon 870 LPDDR5 and UFC 3.1. This is pretty much the same as the previous 11.5 inch version. And now there's only one storage option that's available, which is 8 gigabyte RAM plus 256 gigabyte ROM. This new version of pad, the screen is not just bigger, but it's better this time, though it's still AMOLED screen, but now it's upgraded to the newest Samsung E4 panel. The refreshing rate is also upgraded from 90 Hertz to 120 Hertz. Resolution is pretty much the same, it's still 2K standard, but the Doobie Vision and HDR10 videos are going to be available. If you have watched our previous 11.5 inch versions review, you will know that the AMOLED screen is so much better on a pad. And this is going to be much better than the previous one, that's for sure. Its battery capacity is 10,200 million per hour. That's a little bit more than the previous version. And as long as you don't game heavily on it, it's gonna be enough for more than one day. And with the accessories we've just checked, we've seen the 30 watts fast charging brick, but in fact, it supports up to 45 watts fast charging, and that's gonna be very convenient. This is going to be all for today's unboxing. Please leave a like if you have enjoyed the video, and if you wanna see the full review, we will be uploading it very soon. Subscribe to our channel Gizmo China and thanks for watching.